Dr. Bob Pierce was the founder of the, the relief organization World Vision. Uh, his motto was, let your heart be broken by the things that break the heart of God. When I was in seminary, I read a book by Henry Nowen in which he described the source of compassion being our, our, our guts. Uh, the, the Greek word he described, splankaizomai, refers to the entrails. It refers to the, the viscera. And uh, he said that every time we see in the Gospels, uh, Jesus moved with compassion in the face of human suffering, literally what it's saying was that, that Jesus' stomach turned over within him, that, that Jesus was moved at the, the core of his being. Sometimes we talk about gut feelings, and that's exactly what the Gospels tell us motivated Jesus time and time again in the face of human suffering to respond with mercy and with grace. We find ourselves in a difficult week with, with uh, lots of demands being placed upon us every time we turn on the TV. We see the suffering of people uh, in the Gulf Coast and, and then moving away from the Gulf Coast and, and going to the global perspective. We, we see a, a similar kind of tragedy unfolding in South Asia, in Bangladesh and in Nepal and in India with even more devastating consequences. The feelings that we feel when we see the pictures of people suffering are, are God's messages to us to make a response. And the best response that we can make, it seems to me, is twofold. We can pray, don't discount that, and second, we can give. We can give from our abundance to their needs because our hearts have been broken by the things that have broken the heart of God. Thank you.